Hi, who have we got here? Hello, Araf. Hello, Arash. Who else is coming today? Do we know? Should we see if someone else is coming? No. Someone else? Is it just you two? Yes. Just you two. Okay. Well, happy Diwali. That's what I have to say first. I'm going to show you something, actually. Have a look here. Because I know it's really special time for you, isn't it, Diwali? There we go. Right, let's make that bigger. I found that for you. Happy Diwali. And also, have a look at this. Have a look at this. So these pictures here, can you see them? These yes. are my, my neighbour in England is Hindu and she's celebrating Diwali with her family. And she gave me these pictures of her decorations that she has inside her house, just down the road from me. So do you have any decorations like this in your homes? Mm, yes, I can yes? show you. Okay. She One said second. She, yeah, oh, you've got some to show me. Uh, I, yes, I have made a Diwali house. It is very hard. And yeah. I will show you one second. Okay. Camera is going. Hello. Whoa. I'll PC will oh. drop. Can you see? Oh, I can see. Yes. Yes, I can. Wow. I've lifted my PC up. <laughs> wow. You be careful. Don't drop it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. You put it down now. Well done. That's lovely. And now I can show you my Arangoli. It is made from colors, yeah. Of the colors. I will open my main gate, okay. So lovely. I'm scene. going out, I'm going outside, okay. Are you sure you can manage with the computer? <laughs> Don't break anything. Oh, this is so exciting, and it's dark outside, I guess. Yes, this is my house. Oh, it's <laughs> lovely to see your house. Ma'am, can you see this rangoli and... Oh, yes, I can. By the door, yeah. yes? And uh, upstairs is very high, so I can't take my... <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I have, I have two homes. One home is this and one home is this. Okay. And this, wow. uh, my, some of this, my friends live, so I have... Yeah. So and this is my house. I go. This is one A, and this is one B. Okay, I see. Wow. And then, and then I will also decorate lights. I have lights. I can show you. Yeah. It, there is in two colors. Okay. Ma'am, can I show you and switch yes. on it? Yes. Okay. One second. Oh, that's all right. This is really interesting. Oh, oh, oh. It went. Wait. Uh, I know she switch. has lights outside her house in the garden as well, oh. but she can send me pictures of that. Wait, I'm showing. Let me see yours. I will switch on it. Just check from here. Okay. One second. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Gosh. That's brilliant. And there is another color. One second. There is pink. Okay. This color is very nice and beautiful. I can show Oh, you. that's a nice one. Yeah. And that, that lights up as well, does it? I, let's check it here. This pink one is very nice. I like. I didn't fit. Ah. <laughs> Does that one not want to come on? It is not getting fit. I don't know what happened. Oh, don't don't worry. Okay, it's done. I Lovely. It's done. It is done. Mm. Wait, I have. Okay. 
There's the pink one that wants to come on. Yes, the, the, this is the pink one. It is very beautiful in lights. Okay. Are you, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> You're having a problem? Yes. Oh, I, uh, oh I feel something pink there coming on. Can you see? I can see something. I don't know. Is it the down below? Down by your. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, there's no. the light. Wow. No, no. Yeah. It's kind of flashing. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The yellow one and the pink one is just very beautiful. I love the pink one. You like the pink one best, do you? Yes, I like light pink. It is very nice. I can show you. And I will decorate on the wali these two lights. Yes. This is this is yellow. I love yellow color and pink. Love because pink. They're lovely. Wow! Thank you for showing me those. So these. And I, now, Mr. Arif Kumar will share something. Yes. Mr. Arif Kumar, are you available? Arif, is he going to show me something? Did you say? I'm taking my PC. Push Bringing your PC back. <laughs> Be careful with it. I have. We don't Hello. have broken computers. Whoa, 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 whoa. My, I. Yeah. Oh, there's Arav. Hello, Arav. Hello, Mr. Arav. Hello, Mr. Arav. Oh, you there's. Well, I love your lights. Thank you for showing me your lights, and I've shown you my neighbours' lights. And when it's Christmas time here, we'll have lights in our house and I might put some in my, my room to show you, but I'll, that's not yet. We've got a few weeks to wait, two or three weeks, and then our lights will go up too. So happy Diwali, have a fantastic time. And now we should really do our story, shouldn't we? So- Ma'am, after, after your, your story, I can show you there are new crackers. Okay, right. we'll do the story first. So the story is N today, N, and it's about, do you know what that says on there? Nigel the newsreader. Yes, this name actually, we, we say Nigel, it, it, the G, the G is making a G sound, so it's Nigel the newsreader. It's a very English name, Nigel, so that's why I chose it. My husband's name is Nigel too, so I thought it would be quite a good one to choose. Anyway, let's find out about Nigel the newsreader and all things beginning with N. So, this is the month we're in now, actually, isn't it? What's the month? What month of the year is it? Can you see November. On the... November. November. So, many years ago, on the 9th of November, there was a newborn baby called Nigel. There he is. That's not my husband, it's just a baby. So, Nigel, the newsreader, was born on the 9th of November. Now, while he was growing up, he had a nanny to look after him in his lovely nursery and his nice neighbourhood. What's he got in his nursery? Look, he's got some toys and a cot. So this is when he's a little, little child. Now let's have a look and see where he's from. So what country is this? Can you see the name of the country there? Oh, Rush, can you see the yes, name of that yes, country? Yes, yes. What is yes. it? Oh, one sec. What's the name of that country there? Uh, can you read it? It's Norway. 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 Norway, that's right. Norway. Can you see just down here the United Kingdom? Norway. So that's where I am. And Norway is very, very far north, right up near the Arctic. And in Norway, you get these lights. Can you see here? It says Northern Lights. And they are really beautiful. I have seen them once and they are amazing, the Northern Lights. So Nigel lived in Norway and he saw the Northern Lights and it was all very lovely. Nigel liked food. So Arav, you like the food ones, don't you? Arav, what food can we see? Do you know what this one is, Zara, where my pointer is? Uh, Do you know what that is? 
Nutella. Nutella. You know what that Nutella. is there? Nutella. Who likes Nutella? Do you like Nutella? Do you eat Nutella? Yes. Is it good? Yes. What else? Do you know what these are? RF. We've got noodles. Yes. Noodles and nuts. And do you know what these are? These are nachos. Nachos. So, Arash, do you like any of these foods? I like. What do you like, Arash? Nachos is my favorite. Do you like nachos as well? Nice. I do too. Uh, I like all of those things. But my and son. I like noodles and, hmm? and I like also dry fruits. Good. So you like all of those things. Ma'am, your son eats any uh, any dry he, fruits? He's He can't eat nuts because he has an allergy. That means he get poorly. If he eats nuts, he's very ill. But um, he likes all the other things. So, oh, well, here's some more things beginning with N. This one is my favourite bread. You know, you all know what this is, don't you? What bread is that? Oh, Rush, can you see that one? Naan. Naan bread. That's my favourite. I like that. This is, this is also my favourite. I eat with chicken tandoori. It's so nice. I love naan bread. It's mm, my favourite. Um, do you know what this is? Nori. Nori. Yeah. Do you know what it is? No. It's seaweed and it's made into like a thin paper and it's used on soup. Have you ever had sushi? It's like Japanese. Yes. yes. Well, sushi is wrapped around with nori and that's the stuff that's wrapped around the outside. And it's uh, actually... I have not tasted nori. I will taste no. one. If, had, if you've had um if you've had sushi, you'll have had nori because it's. Ma'am, but I I am born in Singapore, but I I have eaten in Singapore with. Uh, oh right, okay. Nori. Wow. So that's nori, and mm. this fruit is a nectarine, and this is something sweet. Do you have, have you ever had nougat? Yes. Sweet, full of nuts and chewy, chewy stuff. Yeah. So those are all the foods that Nigel grew up with and liked to eat. He also liked to play on one of these. Do either of you have a Nintendo? Ma'am, what's the meaning of Nintendo? Yeah, does RF have a Nintendo? Do you play games? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. I play on my, and I have a Samsung mobile. Oh, do you? Know. So you play on that. My son's got one of these, this Nintendo Switch thing. So Nigel liked the Nintendo. He also liked to read the... Newspaper. He liked reading the newspaper. He was very interested <laughs> in the news, even as a little boy. So, however, he didn't get to be a newsreader straight away. He joined the Navy and he was a naval officer. And his job was this. Can you read that word? What do you think that says? Navigator. Navigator. What do you think a navigator does? I don't know. So a navigator works out where they've got to go. So they read the map and they navigate their way across the ocean. So that means looking at the map and working out where to go. Ma'am, I, ha ma I have started on, uh, on a cruise. All right, yes. Yes. And, so then I saw, and then I saw also the navigators. Yes, so on a cruise, you'll have navigators working out where to go. And sometimes in your car, you have something called a sat-nav, which tells, tells you where to drive to. And the nav bit is short for navigate, because navigate means work out where to go. So he was a navigator in the Navy and sailed on his great big ship to all over the world. So these are some of the places he went. Um, so Ma'am, can a... I say all? So what can you say? Netherlands, Nassau, Nepal, New Zealand, Namibia. Yeah. Namibia. So there were lots of places beginning with N. They didn't all have place for the boat to go, though, because somewhere like Nepal is surrounded by land. So they had to leave the boat over there somewhere. But the other places he could sail to. 
And then while on his travels, he loved nature and saw some quite interesting creatures. So this bird, can you see what this bird is called up here? So this bird is a nightingale. And then there's this weird fishy creature. Can you see this one? It's called a narwhal. It's a weird sort of sea creature. And also this one, do you know what this is? Can you see the word? So that one is a newt. So we've got a nightingale, a narwhal and a newt. And then finally, he retired from the Navy and became a news reader. And that was his ambition to read the news on the television and tell everybody what was happening. So he became a news reader. And that's the end. So we say good night. Good night. And Mama, at the end I can of the screen, screen and, say, Mama, I, I, can I share the screen and show you a video? Uh, we need to write to our list first. Should we do our list first and then you can show me? Is that all right? Yeah. Let's do our list of words. And then you can show me your video. So we're going to remember what all the things were. And then we'll write our list down. So can you remember everything that happened? We've got Nigel, the newsreader. When was he born? 9th of November. A newborn baby. Nanny, nursery and a nice neighbourhood. Norway, Northern Lights. Nutella. Nuts, noodles and nachos. What else did he eat? You tell me these ones, Arash. Na naan bread. Nougat. What was this one? You remember that one? Nori. Nori and... Nectarine. Played on a Nintendo and read a newspaper. In the Navy as a navigator. Went to New Zealand, Namibia, Netherlands, Nassau, Nepal. Loved nature, became a news reader, and say good night. So let's do the whiteboard and we'll get everything written down. And then you can show me your video. What's your video about that you're going to show me later? Uh, it is about Diwali. Why do we say that? Right, we'll make sure we leave time for that right at the end. That'd be really good. Okay, how long do we need for the video? How many minutes, roughly? Uh, five to ten minutes okay well let's do our list and then we'll have five minutes left at the end and we can watch the video yeah be really good so let me get my i'm going to type it up and see if you can remember lots of the words to tell me what to type so what's the name of our character remember it's it looked like niggle but it was we have to say nigel yeah so, Arash, what's his job? Uh, navigator. He's a navig oh, navigator. And what? Where? who does he work for that also begins with N? Uh, What's the word? Navy. The Navy. So the Navy is the army on the sea. So a country's army on by ship is called the Navy. As a military. Man, and newborn? He was a newborn baby. Oh, yes, we haven't done his childhood, have we? He was newborn on nanny, the night. Nanny nursery. That's right. Let's just do the... What month was he born? 9th November. November. Yes, so he had a nanny, a nursery. And he lived in a nice... Do you remember the name of this word? No. A nice neighbourhood. The neighbourhood is like your area where you live. Okay. I think we're on to the country that he came from. Uh, New, New Zealand? Not where he came from. Somewhere far north called Norway. Yeah. Where we had the northern like Northern Lights. And then when in the Navy, he did go to the Netherlands. 
How else did he go? You remember what other countries? Which was the country where there was no sea? Nepal. Yes. Which was, there was a Caribbean island as well, this one. Nassau, that's a nice holiday place. Where, what other countries were there? Can you remember? There was one in Africa. Uh, it was this one, Nam Ibia. And I think there was one more country. There was one more country near Australia. Do you know which one that one is? The first word is new. New Zealand. Yes, well done. Okay. So, food. Let's see if RF can remember any. Nori, nori, nachos, noodles, Nutella. Okay, can RF remember any of the food as well? Oh no, he dropped his camera. Oh no, did he? Oh yes. What else do we have? Did you say that you said noodles, didn't you? There's some more food. Can you remember RF? We've got. Oh, what was that nice bread? Naan. Naan bread. I have smiling there. Do you like naan bread? Naan yes. bread. It is, it is my favourite. I, I eat with chicken tandoori. Oh, I, I, I love naan bread. Yes, I make my own naan bread. It's very nice. Um, so, my... new... nori. Now we got the nori. What have we got then? Oh, that fruit. Nectarine. And I think that was it for the food. What computer game did he play? Uh, what machine, what um, console did he use? I don't know. I know newspaper. He read the newspaper. He played on the Nintendo and he read the newspaper. Well done. Okay, so nature. Can you remember any of the names mm. of the animals there was a bird nightingale there was that weird fish which was called a narwhal and let's see if i can make one more list there was a newt a bit like a lizard and finally, he became a newsreader, didn't he? Right at the end. And he retired from the Navy and then he said, good night. And I think that Ma'am, can it. I play the video? You can. So this is a video about Diwali, is it? Yes. Okay. Why, why? I can't hear you. Mute. Can you unmute? I can't hear you. Ma'am, just stop screen sharing. I can't share. Oh, okay, right. So if we go back to the room, can you share from there? Yes, no. Or do I need to do something to let you share? No, you can do it. I'll mute. Oh, so, ma'am, you can yeah. mute. Bali is a festival of joy and prosperity and a celebration of the victory of good over evil. This is the story of Ram and Ravan, a story related to this festival. Thousands of years ago, in the city of Ayodhya, there was a wise and good king named Dasra who ruled along with his three queens and four princes. The eldest, Ram, and his beautiful wife, Sita, lived happily along with the other prince brothers and their wives. But one of King Dashrat's wives was jealous of Ram and demanded that he be exiled to the forest for 14 years so that her son, Bharat, be made king. Having once promised his wife to fulfill any wish of hers, the helpless king exiled Ram to the forest. And so, Ram set off on foot, accompanied by his loving wife Sita and loyal younger brother Lakshman. 
A few years into their exile, a demoness named Surpanakha saw Ram and fell for his looks. She asked Ram to marry her. Ram refused and asked her to go to Lakshman instead. But Lakshman also refused. Enraged, Surpanakha showed her true form and Lakshman cut off her nose and ears. The demoness went wailing to her brother, who was none other than Ravan, the demon king of Lanka. Ravan was furious and swore revenge. With the help of another demon who took the form of a golden deer, he distracted Ram and Lakshman and kidnapped Sita from their hut. When Ram and Lakshman returned, Sita was missing. They realized that something bad had happened while they were gone and immediately rushed to find her. On their way, they came across an army of monkeys and bears that agreed to help them. Among them was a monkey named Hanuman who had once vowed to be at Ram's service. Now Hanuman was no ordinary monkey. He could fly over mountains, chain size at will and had superhuman strength. He had the power to leap across oceans in a single stride. So obviously he ended up being Ram's strongest ally. It was Hanuman who finally found Sita imprisoned in one of Ravan's beautiful gardens. Hanuman reassured Sita that Ram would be here soon to rescue her. He came back to Ram with Sita's whereabouts and the army of monkeys, bears and men marched to Lanka. Soon a great battle started between the two mighty armies and Ram's soldiers managed to kill all the demons except one, Ravan. The battle was now between Ram and Ravan. He gave Ravan one last chance to apologize and return Sita. Ravan instead rained down weapons on him. Ram too fought back relentlessly, but despite all his efforts, nothing seemed to kill Ravan. Finally, Ravan's brother Vibhishan told Ram that Ravan's weakest point was in his navel. Using an arrow given to him by the gods, Ram shot Ravan in the navel and killed him instantly. And so, Ram and his love Sita were finally reunited. Soon after, upon completion of their 14 years in exile, Ram, Sita and Lakshman returned home to find the entire city waiting for them. The streets were decorated with flowers and lamps and there was happiness everywhere. And this is why, every year on Diwali, we see the streets, homes and offices lit up with lamps like the city of Ayodhya in celebration of Ram and Sita's homecoming. Thank you so much for sharing that, um, Arash. That was really interesting. Ma'am, on that time when when the nose and the ears were cut, you were like this. Oh. I know, I went like that, didn't I? Yeah, that's not nice to think about, is it? That's a great... That's really good about Ram and Sita, but I didn't know the story, so that's really interesting. Ravan, Ravan was very bad, and, and his brother Vivishan was very nice, and then he whispered in his yeah. Ram's ear that his... That's really, really interesting. So will you have fireworks to celebrate? Will you see fireworks? No, in Corona, there is no fireworks. Uh, there's only yeah. one... There's only one firework, a gun. Okay, yeah. Same here when we had ours last week. Well, you have a lovely time anyway and enjoy all your pretty lights and all your festivities. And I'll see you next week. That was really good. Thank you so much for sharing me that. That's my alarm ringing. Have a great time. All right, lovely to see you. And I'll see you next week for the story of O. Okay, bye-bye then. Well done. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Good bye. night. Good night. Okay, bye, Arav. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.